Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm basically going to demonstrate some different types of hairstyle you can do, whether you have short hair or long hair, and I'm also showing you how to achieve these looks with clipping. So as you can see, my model has short hair, and all I'm doing is putting her hair into a ponytail, and we have some clip-ins. I made these clip-ins and we found some hair that was close to the texture of her natural hair. So all I'm doing with these clip-ins is clipping it around the ponytail. And I'm going to do about three clip-ins and clip those all the way around the ponytail. And once you have done so, you just want to take the ponytail, split it into two, and start twisting it all the way around. So you have reached the end and once you have you just want to bobbin pin it in place and also a lot of you guys have been asking me about how to do the my head wrap um, all I do is use leftover fabric and I start from the back and I cross over and back to the back again and, and you want to make sure that the fabric is long enough to wrap around your head twice and you just want to tuck it in I do suggest using fabric like cotton, um, anything that's silky or kind of slippery won't stay on the head so definitely a cotton type of fabric would be really good for this look. And this is the final look. Now my model decided to use some edge control so she's just adding in her baby hairs with some edge control. So for the next look is the half up half down hairdo, but to achieve this look I'm using the rubber band method. I've seen a lot of people use the rubber band method if they don't know how to braid and they want to sew on their tracks or if they don't feel like braiding and they still want to uh, sew on their tracks but I haven't seen it done with clip-ins so I am basically parting the hair into sections. Uh, typically I would do smaller sections for the rubber band but I'm doing a little bit bigger than usual but um, since her tracks are pretty thick the hair on her tracks are thick it covers up the rubber band and her natural hair and basically um, once you have made all your sections you just want to take your hair and just clip it where you made those parts Now for my client who has transitioned from relaxed to natural, she does find that doing the rubber band method and using the clip-ins, um, she definitely see less breakage because if you use clip-ins often, they can break off your hair. Now for the top, all I'm doing is just putting her hair into the ponytail and I'm using some clip-ins to clip them on top or around the ponytail. And just like I did in the beginning, I'm just going to split it into two and twist it all the way around because I'm going to put it in a bun. And then you just want to bobbin pin it in place. And once you're done, it should look like this. And you see how well her hair blends in with the tracks. You can't even tell where her natural hair starts or ends. Now for my next hairstyle is a high ponytail, kind of like a rockerish chic look. And if you want to put a high ponytail, I definitely suggest um, clipping it in, starting from the bottom. And then all I'm doing is using some gel in the back of her hair. I'm just going to brush it into place. And you can see you can't see her tracks. It's pretty, pretty smooth. Um, for the top of her hair, I decided not to add tracks because I want it to be flatter. Um, all I'm doing is taking some clip-ins and I clipped it around the ponytail 
and I'm just twisting it around the hair to give the ponytail a little bit more volume and then I just bobby pin it into place and it should look like this. Now for my last look, it's basically a bun. I'm just twisting it around into place and just bobbing, pinning it to hold it. And as you can see, it looked really, really natural. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I do have another uh, clipping tutorial if you guys want to know um, or get more ideas on some clip-ins for your hairstyles over the summer. Definitely check that out. Click the link down below or click this video and I'll see you next week for a new video. Bye!